Bwana asifiwe our viewers. I promised you, and I'm keeping my promise. I promised that I'm going to bring you guests from all walks of life. And today, once again, we have a professor in Liz Levitt TV. So if you have <laughs> never <laughs> met a professor or interacted with a professor, this is your opportunity to interact with a professor. And because he's here, I want to welcome you, Professor, to Liz Refuge TV. We feel honored to have a professor in our TV. And I want you to look at our camera there and introduce yourself, tell people your name, where you work, and anything else that you would like to tell our viewers. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Liz, for welcoming me to this TV uh, studio. I'm very, very grateful. My name is uh, Professor Stanley Kabwanja, and more than that, I love Jesus as my personal savior. He saved me when I was young, and uh, even before I became a professor, he was still my God and my king, and I thank God for that. I have worked in many places uh, as a professor. My career I started at Kenyatta University where I, I, I taught for seven years, eight mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. and then moved from there, mm -hmm. went to Egerton University where I worked for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. From Egerton University we had to go to found another university college that's Chuka University, mm -hmm. where I worked for more than 10 years as a, in administration. And now I'm back in the same university working as a professor of chemistry. So mm -hmm. that's my area of interest, and I love it. And I thank God because he has enabled me to come this far. In that wow, profession. wow, professor. Uh, there is another professor, Kagwanja, somewhere, uh, but I think he's a professor in politics. And uh, what, which is your area? Yes. Are yes. you also in politics or? Yes. Uh, people confuse me uh, with Professor Peter Kagwanja. Mm -hmm. Many people have uh, stopped me on the on the Lord, mm -hmm. uh, saying, hey, we have seen the professor today. <laughs> That's Professor Kamwanja, mm -hmm. uh, who is uh, in uh, uh, political science. Mm -hmm. Myself, my area of specialization mm -hmm. is uh, chemistry. Mm -hmm. I deal with chemistry, mm -hmm. which is life, the central uh, science, mm -hmm. which uh, deals with life. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I'm a scientist. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, uh, a politician. OK, Professor. As I said, we are happy to have you here to talk about Jesus. And this time, we are in the period of Christmas. What comes in your mind when you hear the word Christmas? Thank you very much. Uh, when I hear the word Christmas, it excites me mm -hmm. because this is the time when um, we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I thank God very much because uh, Jesus was brought here on earth by our Father, our Creator. Jesus was there even before Christmas, mm -hmm. but he was God, and God found it useful for us to have a reunion with him again after sin that uh, came to us through the first parents. So this is uh, Jesus who came, who was born to save the lives to save people from sin. One of them is me, and uh, I thank God very much. So Christmas is a time of celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a joyful time to tell God thank you, to remember God and tell him thank you for bringing your own son to come and live in our hearts so that we can have union uh, with you. The union the fellowship that had been um, uh, cut by the first sin. 
We thank God that Jesus came during Christmas. And this is the time we are remembering his birth. And we are happy that he brought joy and brought peace to us in the whole world. So that's how I feel Christmas is. Professor, I feel excited to have you here. And you know why? When Jesus was born, we see Jesus being visited by the wise men and also, and also the shepherds. You know, there are some people who say that Christianity is for only the poor people. What can you tell them? Because I think you represent the wise men of, of, of that time who visited Jesus. What can you say about this? I would begin by saying this. Mm -hmm. The purpose of Christ's coming is to die for sinners. Mm -hmm. And all of us are sinners. Mm -hmm. Being a professor, being poor, being educated, being whatever, we were all born sinners. Mm -hmm. The book, that the holy book, the Bible says all of us have sinned mm -hmm. and came sh short of the glory of God. Yes. And the wages of sin is death, mm -hmm. and the free gift of God is eternal life. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it does not matter whether you are very educated or whether you are not educated, whether you are very rich or you are poor. We are all born sinners, and we thank God that He died for all of us. He died for Provesa. He died for that little person, we thank God because the fear of the Lord, as the Bible says, is the beginning of wisdom. So you cannot become a professor and you still you don't fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. You don't accept Jesus, the gift of God in your life. Mm -hmm. So I'm wise because Christ has given me wisdom. The Bible says in Isaiah 9, 6, that a savior was born. Mm -hmm. A wonderful cancer, a prince of peace, everlasting God, and a mighty God. So he is wise, and therefore all the knowledge that we have comes from God. Mm -hmm. He's the one who gives us knowledge, mm -hmm. he's the one who gives us, refuse to us yeah. the knowledge of how to live, of how to help others. So I'm very, very, very grateful that um, I represent the wise men. Mm. <laughs> the wise men and the angel of science, mm. which uh, sometimes disputes the existence of God. But I am saved because God has given me wisdom. Mm. And I represent those wise men and I will tell them to accept Jesus because uh, our wisdom is foolishness mm. in the sight of God. He who fears the Lord is wise. Avias, you have heard Professor himself acknowledging the greatness of our God and that the love of God is for all of us. God loves us. And Christmas is all about love in action. So keep uh, writing those messages. I will respond to them before the end of this session. I will be responding to them. Keep writing those messages and we shall respond to them. Professor, and this is a Christmas that is different from others because we have a lot of problems in the world. We have Corona. We have many issues. What would you like to, what advice do you have for the people around this time of Christmas? Thank you very much. Uh, this is a year unlike any other year. It's a year we did not know we would end up uh, locking ourselves in our houses because a time like this of Christmas is a time to rejoice with our friends, rejoice with our families, wherever they are. But now we have been locked in because of this uh, satanic um, disease, this um, evil, which is all over the world. We're not the only ones who are suffering here. All over the world, people are um, suffering this uh, pandemic. It's a time we should be having joy in our hearts. But wherever we are, I would encourage people to continue rejoicing wherever you are, because God is everywhere. He is within us. He is in our homes. He is everywhere. 
and therefore this will not cut our joy off. We will continue uh, praising God and thanking Him and rejoicing that this year has never been like in any other year, but God is still on the throne. Our God, who is a mighty God, the everlasting God, the wonderful counsel, the Prince of Peace is still on the throne, and therefore we should not give up. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And God is going to come in a big way and is going to relieve us of this disease. Our viewers, you have heard, you don't have to give up. You don't have to go down alone. Keep talking, keep talking, keep sharing what you are going through. And God himself, and keep praying. Because God himself is still on the throne. And he knows you by your name. And he's going to help you in everything that you are going through. All the difficulties, they have been taken care of especially this time of Christmas, when our Savior, we are remembering the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, we are praying that the presence of God will fill your life in a very special way. Professor, we are glad again to have you here. You are a very rare visitor in our studio. In fact, we, we have never had a professor. <laughs> we have had the counselors, preachers, but we have never had a professor in our studio. So what advice or wishes do you have for this Refuge TV? What wishes do you have? Thank you very much. First of all, is to appreciate the coming up of this uh, uh, studio. It's God's mouth mm -hmm. to reach his own people. I've been watching um, yes. somebody who supports mm -hmm. uh, the station mm -hmm. uh, in all ways, mm -hmm. spiritually, mentally, mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. It has been a blessing to us, and this is where every person should come and reach the society, reach the people. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you to continue doing the work of God through this mouthpiece and keep on praying that uh, men and women, children wherever they are, they are reached by this one. Mm -hmm. So you have been a blessing. This TV has been a blessing to us. I watch it every time, every week, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm blessed mm -hmm. even by those who have been coming mm -hmm. to uh, speak, to talk, it has been a blessing. And I would like you, the managers of this, this TV, not to give up, but to continue doing the work of God. God is going to reach people out there through this TV. And I would like the listeners to be tuning in every time that uh, we are alerted that uh, it's going to be on air so that we can have blessings because uh, the people who are selected to come and encourage people are reputable people, Christians, counselors, people who impart skills and knowledge to the society. Thank you very much, Professor, for visiting us. And although you haven't been able to come uh, to be with us, we know you are our greatest fan and supporter. You have supported us, even financially, and we do take this opportunity to thank you so much. You have given us moral support. You have uh, supported us financially. And we can say that you have contributed to our success. We, th we thank you very much. And we want to tell you that we love you and we value you. And keep visiting us and keep supporting us. And God will bless you in a mighty way. And since this is a time of Christmas, I want you to look at our viewers and wish them a Merry Christmas. And maybe if you have already told them where you are, if they want to contact you, where you can be found. Thank you. I wish all the viewers uh, a Merry Christmas, uh, a joyful one, a peaceful one, and a time of reflection that uh, uh, Christ be born in the hearts and be renewed in our hearts. So I wish you Merry Christmas, all viewers, 
And I also want to wish you a successful and prosperous 2021. We are going to be there and with the help of God have a beautiful uh, 2021 and a joyful Christmas this year. May God bless you all as we enjoy this Christmas. Thank you very much, Professor. Uh, we are so grateful that you came. We have enjoyed uh, that discussion with you and more so about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas, Professor. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to all the viewers <laughs> and all those who have participated in this <laughs> studio. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.